Well, I'm a little disappointed in the position that our administration took on that. Last November was the referendum election on, on Kurdish independence. They, they have succeeded in establishing an autonomous Kurdish, Kurdish region and done a terrific job of governing it. And uh, so I would have liked to have seen our Secretary of State not declare that vote, which was 92% in favor of, of Kurdish independence uh, for Iraq, um, or not declare that to be an illegitimate election, but support it because it was the voice of the Kurdish people. And it's, again, if, if I, I like to be consistent with these things. I believe the Kurdish people or the Iraqi Kurds deserve their freedom. And if 92% of them say so, the United States should have said, we endorse this result and encourage it to be formalized. They could actually be an independent nation state today had, I think, the, the, our, our Secretary of State made the announcement that I've suggested rather than the one that he did. So the negotiations between, uh, between the Iraqi Kurds and Baghdad, um, Baghdad wants to hold everything they can in uh, because it's the assets and the resources, the economy and the success of the Kurdish region that helps support that Baghdad. And, uh, and Baghdad, though, is now almost a totally owned, totally owned subsidiary of the Iranian mullahs. And I want that severed. 